It's 5.45 in the morning and I have just arrived at the train station heading to Shanghai. It'll be a two hour and 10 minute trip this morning. About 15 minutes before the train leaves, you're about to enter the platform. And five minutes before the train leaves, the check-in, so to speak, closes. There we go, 15 minutes before the train leaves and we're starting to check in. This is the surroundings around the train station. Here we got the high-speed train. They just called out that the doors are now closing and it's uh, 6.08, turning 6.09 now. One minute before the train is about to leave and the doors are closed. And now we are leaving the station. <laughs> Shanghai Hong Chao Station, right on time. This train station is massive. It's actually connected to one of the Shanghai airports as well. So you got everything from high speed railway, bus station, train station, all in one. park around People's Square here in Shanghai. This was once the tallest building in Shanghai. Hotel by Park. Some rental bikes here. Use a QR code in your WeChat or similar to unlock. Pretty convenient. I like the mix of uh, Wide roads, big buildings, like you see over here, as well as these smaller, more narrow roads with a lot of trees. Finding your way in and out of a bathroom in a shopping mall is like walking through a maze. The signs are quite good, but still very difficult to find your way in and out. I'm zigzagging all over the place too. Find your way back to where you started. <sighs> Made it out. Some indoor uh, skiing practice when you can't get to the slopes. Maybe a good idea. See what that looks like. Walk in the streets of Shanghai. Renovating this brick house, you better make it look like a brick house while you're renovating it. Even with fake windows. Going from Shanghai to Beijing, current speed 347 kilometers an hour. The trip is about four and a half hours, 1,200 kilometers. Usually more efficient than flying, actually. You don't need to check in large in advance and very rarely delayed, so. And also you arrive within the city. Don't have to go into the city after you arrive, which is very nice. In Chinese, these are called dai jia, so something, someone driving on your behalf. And this is used when you have uh, taken your car out for dinner and you can't drive home because you've been drinking. And you book one of these in an app and they come and pick you up and your car. And they place their tiny bike in the back of your car. And you can then get home with your car and don't have to go pick it up the next day. Very convenient service. And in big cities in China, you see them all over the place. So as you see there, the bike they're riding is very tiny and it collapses into very small foldable pipe that you can then put in the back of your car in the trunk. Here's another one. Uh, this is number four, just in this 
the minute we go to Sandy Hook. Just arrived from Shanghai. It's now 12.30 a.m. and just got to my hotel, starving. So now I'm heading out to see if I can find something to eat. And here we got pretty good stuff. So um, gonna check this tiny place out. Probably a big risk, but hey, why not? Fried noodles and a rou jiang I guess almost like a kebab, meat and bread. Street food at its best. Darn good food. Let's try this kebab out. Ooh. Yeah, really good. Put some chilies in here as well, so. A bit spicy, but not really good. Oh, I should have bought something to drink. Yeah. Good stuff. Only thing missing now is something to drink. This guy just came out of the elevator, scared the crap out of me. Think it's room service? This is a GT Yeah, so it's apparently it delivers the it's food deliveries. So if you order a pizza or whatever to your room, you have to, instead of picking it up in the lobby, it gets sent up to your room with the robot. <laughs> 